How's it going guys? Welcome back to another Booga Booga video. Today I'm playing a game uh, called Booga Booga Overheal and I was actually uh, reached out to by one of the developers or one of the owners of the game who asked me to um, <clears throat> make a video on this game and I thought you know what I kind of am running low on content so we may as well hop on and give this a quick review. Um, I don't actually know what version of Booga this is based on, but it has some interesting things that I want to go over that I think is nice. And uh, one thing that this game does that I've never seen any Booga game do ever before is if you press X in the settings menu, you can change your guy's appearance in real time. Like I'm, I've spawned in like minutes ago and I'm able to change my appearance like in real time. I think that's very interesting. It's not that cool, I guess, because it doesn't matter that much, but it's something that really shows the creativity of the owners of the game. The fact that they came up with something like that, because I've, I've never seen something like that in uh, a Booga game before. And apparently they do have Adorite Meteors in this game, which uh, to my understanding is a uh, OG Booga thing. That was something that they had in the OG Booga days. Um, before like, you know, I started playing like well before I started playing, but um, yeah, the map is actually really big and like beautiful. It seems like they only have uh, one desert island. Well, they have this tiny one, but that's kind of more of a, uh, this is kind of more of like an, uh, I don't know, a river separating the island. Um, but yeah, they have one big desert. I actually haven't played this game at all before. So yeah, we're pretty much going to be reviewing this in real time, which I think is sort of the best way of doing it. Um, as you can actually see, I just noticed at the top, it says VC14. So I guess that answers my question. It's in, uh, it's Booga C14. And we got some fire ants who may actually kill me, as well as some floating fire ant mounds. <laughs> Oh man. Oh, it has the, uh, they have that HP system where, uh, the rock doesn't do one damage, it does five. Okay, very interesting. It seems like a lot of the objects are kind of, uh, floating, which they should definitely fix. Um, yeah. As well as the fire ants being in the desert makes not really much sense in my opinion. But something that they do have is, uh, you start with 15 mojo, which is very interesting, and they, they did have the god raft, which uh, was something that I added to my game a while ago. So you start with 15 mojo, which is uh, sort of a good thing. Let's just buy, like, let's see, what else is useful? Uh, may as well get the god rock. I don't really care about the armor because, you know, it's not that deep. You also start with 75,000 coins. They do not have a market, so I can't buy gold or anything, which sucks. But they do have a few unique hats, like, uh, I think the Demonicorns is a Booger Reborn thing, I think. But I think, um, Am Golden Banto and Am Squishy the Frozen Squid, you know, Crystal Guardian, I think they do have quite a few unique, uh, hats. Which I've been meaning to do myself in my game, if I'm being completely honest. But I can notice a ring of floating islands off above that island, and I have no idea how to get on top of that. But if I can figure it out, that would be, would be pretty sick. They also do have the uh, tribe creator with all of the different options, which personally, I really like this system a lot more because I feel like it is pretty annoying when you join a Booga game and like there's only six tribes or something like that and all of them are, are already taken. It gets pretty annoying, especially if you want to make a tribe. Um, but yeah, I like that system. I did actually just notice that there is no quick pickup option, but you have it on by default, which I actually really like. I didn't even notice that, but it is very nice because I think quick pickup should just be like a default thing, in my opinion. Uh, let me get my auto clicker. I keep I keep forgetting <laughs> that I don't have it open. It's such a convenient thing, but yeah, the axes. Uh, sorry, not just the axes, but pretty much everything um, on this version of Booga um, have like different balancing. Like the the items have different HP and the tools have different uh, damage balancing, which personally I don't like. I think the like system that Boogery Born has, which is pretty much, <coughs> excuse me, which is pretty much the OG system they have. Sorry about the coughing, I'm fucking, I'm a little bit sick I think, coming down with something. But uh, yeah, the, the OG system I think is the best system, just cause it's, it's the one that everyone is familiar with. It's the most intuitive in my opinion, but um, Let's see if I can quickly climb the rope. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get up just a simple lookout, but I'm going to try. <laughs> I should be able to. Oh, I might 
bump into that rock. I see a floating ice island, or actually that might just be um, the crystal island. What am I talking about? Floating ice island. It just looks blue because the fog is kind of blue tinted. Yo, this tree is, is a really deep blue. <laughs> Yeah, they do have silver in this game, um, which is kind of like a less good version of gold. I think that the crag is slightly floating. You can kind of tell. Oh, hey, it's Jafar. Yo, Jafar is a uh, booga booga developer. He does. He, I don't think he develops on this game, but he's he's a booga dev who's been helping me with my game every here and there. So shout out to Jafar. He's a really cool guy. Apparently, feather bushes in this game don't drop essence. I have no idea why that is. Um. Yeah, I am noticing another volcano out that way, which is interesting because they had a vol they had the OG volcano out that way, um, where, where I spawned. Yo, how, does how did Jafar just buy? Oh yeah, he probably had um money from his spawning thing. Oh yeah, that is true. The crystal chests give gold. I actually forgot about that. I probably could have got myself some god tools straight off the rip. Whoops, I guess I'm a bit silly, aren't I? Okay, at least the sun trees drop essence. I think they may have uh, intentionally made it so that the um feather bushes don't drop essence. I think I think they did that intentionally as like a balancing thing. So let me just quickly get <laughs> a bunch of these chests opened up. Oh my hot mama. Okay, my bag is actually full let's just try to cook th th this up uh just like this let's see can i place a campfire underneath oh you can actually place a campfire underneath items that's really helpful actually so i don't actually gotta like go and pick them all up let's see can you uh what do you need to do to make a god bag yeah you need spirit keys fuck i'm probably not gonna be able to do that well i could if i got like a oh they have stone clubs too which is nice let's get okay let's drop my raw gourd fuck all of that pick up some cooked Drop that rod, let's get a nice god pick going. Uh, let's quickly break this thing. Oh wow, the god, okay, it just fell off. That's kind of lame. The god pick does a hundred damage, which is really OP. Let's quickly get that spirit key. Maybe I'll even go mine the ord god, seeing as I'm OP as fuck. I can pretty much do it whatever I want. I'm assuming that they're not gonna have you spawning in with all of this stuff permanently. Uh, I would imagine this is only a temporary thing they're doing for like playtesting, because this is in its early stages as far as I know. I mean, I guess I don't really know for sure what exactly they got going on, but yeah, as far as I know, uh, you're not going to be spawning in with this stuff every time you load in. This is pretty much just going to be like, for now, I would imagine they're going to be, you know, honing it back. <laughs> Damn. Okay, this fire ant, you did not, you're not him, buddy. You're not that guy. Alright, whatever, that's enough food for a little bit. Oh, look at the scavenger ant, he's so tiny, you're dead. They also have those portal things from Booga 2020. I forget how you even, like, interacted with these things. I never actually really learned. I guess, like, there was no really point in Booga 2020 to, to learn how to do that shit because it's so useless. But yeah, I really do hope that they don't make the 15 rebirth thing permanent because that would hinder this game's success quite substantially so i would actually recommend that you guys play this game at least just once because the guy who one of the people who's working on it is one of my friends so it would be nice if you guys can just play this game and just give it give it a few hundred plays help them out a little bit that would be very nice let's kill these damn ants oh damn they're actually kind of messing me up a little bit yeah the old gods got 20,000 hp because they had to like increase it i guess all right, I wonder how much XP we're actually going to get from this. Uh, let's see, so I'm level 7, and I got from level 7 up to level 14. Okay, pretty bad. Pretty sucky. Um, okay, I'm back where I spawned. Let's quickly check out that island, because that did catch my eye. Uh, not gonna lie. Let's make a god raft. May as well. Can I get in? Okay, there we go. Let's go check out that island, because yeah, I did catch my eye, and I want to see... You know, I may as well show off some of the unique stuff. Uh, it makes sense. Holy fuck, by the way, this is one fast-ass boat. Holy good god. Ah, I like that. Alright, let's get my stuff back. Gimme, give gimme, give gimme, give gimme. Alright, can I at least make a better bag now so I can actually do this game its proper justice? Okay, I need hide and iron. I can make an iron bag. Oh my god, wait, that's actually kind of funny. They have, um... I don't know how I didn't notice this sooner. For those of you who have never developed a game before, this is basically uh, not supposed to be visible. This is supposed to be like a marker for where meteors spawn. So this is supposed to only be visible in... 
uh, studio, Roblox studio. But I think they maybe changed the setting uh, to make it accidentally visible, which is very funny. Yeah, one of the features about this game is that it's in the name, Overheal. So as you saw, as I'm eating things, it's overhealing me. So that is one of the main features of that game, of, of this game. Also, is that emerald? Why is the emerald glowing so much? Pretty. I've actually thought about implementing overheal into my game, but I feel like the general consensus is that a lot of the casual audience of the game doesn't like it, so I'm a bit cautious to do that. But it seems like these guys have decided to do it for their, for their game, so if this ends up being a successful game, then shit, maybe I'm gonna have to copy them. <laughs> oh damn, this drops hella emeralds too. That dropped me like six. That's nice. Very, very nice. I really wonder how you're supposed to get up to those islands. I kind of wish I had like, um, I had like develop per like a admin perms in this game so I could actually just fly up and go have a look at it myself for the video. But unfortunately, I'm not that important. I can't quite get myself admin commands as a negotiating tactic. <laughs> but it seems like this is pretty much just the Emerald Island where you get all the emeralds and stuff. Very interesting terrain. It's uh, pretty interesting. I like the emerald load um, thing though, it looks nice. I might make this the thumbnail because it actually is pretty beautiful. Let's see, yeah, probably like that. All right guys, what I'm gonna have to say, this is probably gonna be the end of the video. Uh, thank you so much for watching, I really, really appreciate it. Um, I may make another video on this game if this video gets like 3,000 views. So if you want me to play this game again, let's get some likes and some comments, baby. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys later. Stay awesome as always, and peace out.